Okay, AP Calculus Volume. I'm going to use the washer method today. And we're going to find the volume of the region bounded by the graphs of y equals x and y equals the square root of x rotated about the line x is equal to negative 3. And it's always good to start with a picture if you can see one. So uh, <laughs> that is to say that you can see one in your head. So here's our Cartesian plane. And we're looking at this thing like this. We're looking at this thing like this. Right here is that square root of square root of x thing, and here's y equals x. We'll make it orange. Something pretty. Say this is where these are the two places where they where they meet. And then just to make it tricky, just to make it interesting, like the AP exam itself, we're going to insert this line. So we're going to rotate it about this line right here. So it's going to go around like that. And this is the line. X is equal to negative 3. <clears throat> All right? So this is what I want to do here. Uh, first, I'm going to switch it around this way. So we need to solve for y in terms um, for x in terms of y. So the first one is really easy because x is equal to y. So that's that's this one. The second one, right? The second one will be this one here, and we'll have to do just a tiny bit more work on that, won't we? And if we solve for x, we'd get that x is equal to y squared. Isn't that right? And remember, this is. This is that y equals square root x thing there, and this is y equals x. So we have to get those things in, in order. And then because we're going to rotate it about this, we have to take a look at this and see how we're going to set that thing up. So I'm going to set it up like this, I think. I'm just looking at this, and I'm saying, what's the distance from, I'm going to do this one first. What's the distance from here to the outer, right? This is the outer radius here, I think, isn't it? And this other one is going to be the inner radius. Right, the inner radius because remember we're spinning this thing this way, right? So okay, so as I set this up, it's going to start to I'm going to start to put this together a little bit. I'm going to say that volume is equal to right. I'm just going to generalize here is this R X squared isn't the outside radius squared minus the inside radius. So that's little R X, isn't it? Squared D X, right? And it's, let me go back and clean this up a little bit, I'm sorry. Right? From A to B to pi. Or, or, in our case, we have to look at it a little bit differently, right? So we have to look at it this way. We have to look at our volume, because of the way we're turning this thing, is still pi times the definite integral. But now we're going to go C to D. And this is C, and this is D up here. So here's C and D here and here of R of Y, isn't it? Squared minus R of Y quantity squared D, DY. This one should have been DX. Somebody caught that. I'm sure you guys did. Okay, good work. So let's start looking at this for a second and start plotting our way through this. The first thing I'm going to do is look at this, this outer one here, and it's 3. See, this is the one that's on the outside, isn't it? This is the one that's on the outside. They intersect... You know, let's do that. Let's, let's show an intersect. When is y squared equal to y? And we'll turn this into a quadratic, I guess, and do it like this. Minus y equals zero. We'll factor this out a little bit and say that y times y minus one is equal to zero. Y equals zero. Y equals one. That gives us our a and b values, doesn't it? So that gives us zero to one, right? And then or the distance, we're going to do the outer piece first, right? We're looking at it this way. This is so now this is the outer piece. If we're looking, if we're going to spin it this way, then, then this would be the top piece, wouldn't it? But if we're looking at it this way, then that's farther out, isn't it? So we're going to do three because this distance is three plus y, isn't it? So it's three plus y, that quantity squared, right? This is the washer method. And then here's this inside piece right here, right? The inside piece is also, this shorter distance is still 3. This part of it is 3 plus, plus y squared. So it's 3 plus that y squared distance, isn't it? Squared the whole thing. 
vy. And from here, what you need to do is plug this into a calculator. I'm simulating this from a, quest, from a similar question that I saw on, a, on an AP exam. So this would be calculated. So now you just tap that into your calculator. So here, use calculator. Please don't be mad, but this is not something. You'd have to do a lot of expansion here, and I'm not really interested in doing that mess. This is a calculator question. So wash your method. Take a quick look at what you're doing. Start setting this up. Remember, if you're taking the AP exam, especially if you're, not especially, but equally, if you're doing the calculus section, you need to write in calculus what you want them to grade. Don't just write an answer because your answer is worth about one out of the possible points you can get on that. So let's make sure that we set ourselves up for success. Okay? If you haven't already subscribe please subscribe and your comments are always welcome and i appreciate all the support you guys give me you're fantastic thanks